How's it going out there? I'm back again with another tutorial video. Today I want to show you how to download apps on the iPad. Um, and it's a it's a really quick process. And just a few steps I'm going to go over. The first one is you want to find this little icon that says apps. It actually says app store. You're going to click on app store and it's going to take you here. This is basically where you go to buy your apps. You don't go to stores to buy apps. Um, you don't go online, you go to the app store and everything is contained in here. Over 500,000 apps you have available to download. So today I'm going to download just the Kindle app just to show you the process of how you actually download apps. And then I'll show you a cool way to find uh, different apps as well. Okay, so first we come over here, I've actually already typed it in, I'm going to erase it and type it again. Type in Kindle and it's going to search and then I get a couple of different options and there it is the Kindle now you also see um, some other book reading apps besides the Kindle just to show you real quick if we click on uh, see all we can actually look at uh, apps that are like the Kindle and that's what it does it takes what you search and it uh, makes recommendations as well so there's a little arrow in the corner we can click here to look at more apps these are all different book reading um, apps that are available on the iPad um, one thing I like to do um, is if you go to up here where it says price if you click on all I like to go to free I like to see what free apps are available first because I don't like to spend money if I don't have to so it actually narrows down the search and uh, it'll cut out anyone that isn't free okay and then if you want to see the ones that are paid we can just click here and go paid if you want to just see the paid apps now it switches these are all the paid ones so we'll just go back to all for now and so now I'm, I'm gonna click on uh, the little icon that says Kindle, the little picture of the app and what's cool is it'll give you a description of what the app is all about so it tells you you know about the app and we can come down here and we can look at pictures of what the app actually looks like and if you take your finger and just slide over you can look at different uh, screenshots of what the app looks like I always check the screen uh, shots first because I want to I want to make sure the app looks good because if the app doesn't look like something I would use then you know maybe it may not be a good one to download now keep in mind this is a free one so you know usually free apps there's no risk no risk involved because you're not paying any money to download it so it doesn't hurt to, to give it an actual try but if it's a paid one if it doesn't say free right here you make sure you look at the screenshots first and make sure it looks worth the money to, to buy it now also I'll come down here to the customer ratings because this is also really important and I'll see what are people saying about the app is it rated high is it rated low for instance the Kindle app is only rated uh, three stars out of five okay so that's you know could be better but again it's free so we can download it if we want to try it but also we can actually read customer reviews to see what are people saying about the app we can go to more and then it'll pull up more reviews so when you're gonna download an app hey you know take a second to do a little bit of reading just to make sure that the app is worth it okay so now we can click on free and then it turns into install app and you wanna click again and then it's gonna ask you to put in your password so that it can um, connect it with your Apple ID account and it will save all your purchases that's a really important thing so if you ever delete the app you can actually go back and download it again later so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Apple ID and so now it's actually uh oh I think I put it in wrong if you put it in wrong it will tell you uh oh I put it wrong again I think what may have happened is um I set up this account a little differently just for the sake of testing so it's not going to let me actually load the app but that's all good because uh, for your account 
you know you'll just put in your password and the app will show up right on your screen like that so for the sake of the video I'm not going to download it for now but that essentially is how you download an app um, and let's go back to the app store real quick I just want to show you one more thing uh, this is what I do every so often if I want to look and see like what apps are new um, maybe I'm bored with my apps and I want some better ones so if you go to the bottom you'll see a couple different things click on where it says featured and it actually takes you to that screen we were just on and then click on um, you see you have three options here new what's hot and released uh, I usually click on what's hot because that's pretty much what a lot of people are downloading so you can kinda go through and see like what are the most popular apps right now these are a couple of different ones here and these are uh, apps uh, separated by categories so you can go through there, there's some themed apps for Sesame Street. And what I'll also do, I come over here to where it says categories at the bottom right here. Click on categories. And so on this screen it actually separates all the apps into different categories. So if you're looking for a specific app, find the category that corresponds with it. Let's say if we go to finance then it'll just uh, focus on the apps that have to do with finance and as we can see there's a bunch of them there's between one and about uh, 2348 so I'm not gonna go through all those cuz that's a lot but <coughs> essentially that's how you find cool apps on the iPad that's how you download apps and I hope that was helpful and um, Start downloading. Remember, free is better. Start with the free ones first, and some of them, when they're really good, they may say, hey, there's a paid version, so go ahead and get the paid version, you know, and then you can do a little bit more with the app. A lot of times they release extra features in the paid version. So, again, hope that was helpful, and have a good one.